Hey guys, welcome to another Lifestar EMS training video. This is our second video in the NV ventilator series. So today we're going to be talking about plateau pressures or P-plat pressures as they're kind of displayed on this vent. We're going to talk about what they are. I'm going to show you how to check one and how it might actually change your treatment or settings uh, on the patient. So we're going to look at two different pressures here and the difference between them. So you see that we have that upper pressure and the lower pressure. That upper pressure is our P peak pressure, and that's the one that represents the pressure in our large airways. Stuff that can cause that to alarm is like if the patient coughs, or if our eye time is set too quickly, or maybe if the sedation is poor and the patient is kind of bucking the vent, that can actually cause that P peak to alarm. But a less looked at pressure is the P plat, the plateau pressure. So this is a static pressure, and it represents the pressure that's actually in the alveoli. So when we look at that pressure, we can tell if that patient is going to be prone to a lot of uh, barotrauma or if we're actually causing injury to the lung by overall uh, too much of an exertion of force. So again, the, the P peak is the big main airways and the P plat is going to be the lower airways. And for us to measure that, we have to do something called an I hold. So we actually have to hold pressure in the lungs for all the air to stop moving and then we'll be able to tell what that pressure actually is. If we get too high of a reading, like say over 30, there's a high likelihood that we could cause injury to the lungs. So we'd want to decrease by one milliliter per kilogram of tidal volume. And keep in mind that is not total body weight, that is ideal body weight. And we'll talk about how to calculate ideal body weight in another video, but it does go by height and not by total body weight. So now that our ventilator is on, we'll go ahead and punch in some settings. So we'll say a tidal volume of 600, a rate of 15, and a peep of, we'll say five. So now that we have our settings in, we can actually connect to our patient. And once we're connected to our patient, then we can check a plateau pressure. So the first step is to hit maneuvers. After you are in the maneuvers screen, you see on the right side there, there is what says arm. And you want to arm this eye hold. And after you hit arm, you're going to see a light start blinking on the bottom. And that one is also called maneuvers, but is the white blinking maneuvers button. You'll see it's holding a pressure. And then I let the button go and it releases the pressure. And then it has a little P plat pressure there on the right side. So we'll take a closer look at this now so you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, we're already in the maneuvers screen and then over on the right side it says arm. So we'll hit arm and then this other maneuvers button starts blinking. So you can start pressing it at any time. It'll hold the next breath. So I'm starting to hold it right now. The next breath goes in. It holds it. You can see it on the screen there and there is our plateau pressure so that's it for now guys i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time